Hi, I'm Bonnie Roseman, and welcome to Bonnie Roseman's Fashion Buzz. This is my 32nd show, and it has been sunshine having you share each day with me. In honor of that, I decided to use navies, whites, with touches of sunshine yellow. And it's always about my three golden rules to dress by. BLT. B, build your wardrobe with classic pieces. L, liven your wardrobe with fun novelty items. And T, tweak your wardrobe with touches of color. So I'm gonna step back and I'm wearing a pair of, I might have to just make a little adjustment to come down, just so you can see a little bit more. But I'm wearing just a pair of nice white slacks, and I actually have on a simple white shell, so that's my basic. And it could be a navy shell and navy slacks, as long as you're, you know, dressed in the underneath parts in kind of one, you always want to pack those basics. And then today I decided to add a little tea top in linen, cotton, and silk in a bright sunshine yellow and take this beautiful silk pinstripe shirt with the white collar and cuff. And I just think it makes the whole thing just come to life. And then I have one of my little silicone and chiffon kerchiefs on. Just that little tiny touch of color around the neck can really make it. And the earrings that I'm wearing are from Italy and they're a beautiful hand-blown glass and kind of have a mosaic pattern and they have a little touch of the blues and whites. And I think it all really works well together. And then you can take a fantastic bag this is made by an artist out of Argentina. This is in honor of Roy Lichtenstein. And he ended up uh, doing this original figure and she painted it on this gorgeous Hermes-like leather bag. I just think it's fantastic. So with the bright yellow and the whites and a little bit of blue, I think that really brings the whole outfit to a whole other level. And it's such a great bag. It holds so much if you're traveling so comfortable and then i don't know if anybody else has it i don't sell shoes but i sure collect them if you have a pair of your spectator shoes pull them out if you're wearing a pinstripe shirt and you've got on these little spectator navy and white shoes you're set and sometimes it's fun to even pull out maybe a little yellow flat like this that's adorable. I picked these up in Bellagio in Laga de Como. And you just never get rid of things like this. So it's always fun to have a variety of shoes and certainly an interesting bag to pull the whole look together. And then if you really had a little bit of a chill later on at night, and I know when I'm traveling, even here in South Florida, if we have a little breezy evening, it's always nice to have a little yellow shawl to kind of cozy up to. And these are accessories that are forever, things that you really never get rid of. They're wonderful treasures to have. And I can have shawls made in any color. But I'm thrilled that I had a bright yellow one to share with you today. And then a totally different look would be to take this off and share with you I'm going to take off the yellow tea top. I do these quick changes every day, and it actually has kept my figure in shape. It's been a great workout. But here's a great kind of like a modern looking tennis sweater. Again, linen, cotton, and silk. It's got navy on the v-neck. I've got my little white tea top underneath, wearing it with my white slacks. Again, you could be wearing it with a pair of navy pants, I'm gonna show you. I sell these pants in about four, I would say about 25 colors. And they all go from size two to 16. They're custom made, great stretch fabric. So you could be wearing it with a navy bottom and that would be great. 
And the sweater has such great details. The whole back of the sweater is white. This is all Italian knit. And then I might even take a sweater like that and take these little bead of bracelets. That can maybe change up a look. Just that with the earrings. And the ring is a piece of spode china from the 1800s that I actually dug in Nevis, on the island of Nevis, in the British West Indies and had it set in sterling. And that's another treasured piece in my collection. And then you could take the look and here is a necklace made with all pieces from Italy that I found and I had an artist put it together. Look at the workmanship on this. And you could take that little lariat. All these things packed like a dream, all work together. My goal is to show you all the pieces that you could put into a little suitcase, a carry-on and go away for two weeks and never look the same way twice. And in this case, our palette would be whites, navies with touches of yellow. Who do we have here today? Georgia, you finally made it on. Beth, love you, great to have you again. Hi, Allison, it wouldn't be the same without you. Lee, I'll see you in July. Danielle, I love you more than you'll ever know. Hi, Gloria, hi, Betsy. What a nice crowd today. You brought sunshine into my life. That's why I picked the yellows. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a completely different look. It's just like quick changes. And I really appreciate having your patience when I do this. And I really try to do it as quickly as possible. I've really learned to speed up my changes. Okay, so I'm putting on again this wonderful, beautiful silk T-top, changing the earrings to these ceramic, wonderful yellow earrings that have a little bit of rhinestone in the shape of beautiful flower. And then wait until you see this. I'm going to make sure I have this on right. Okay. And then I'm going to take this beautiful coat that I have that's made out of 100% cotton. Look at this coat with white slacks. Again, you could be wearing all navy underneath and that would be a different look. You could just be wearing all white underneath and not the yellow. But I like having a little pop of color because it has yellows in here. Navy blues, oranges, hot pinks, greens, turquoise. This is a blast. I only have one of these, but I look for fabrics and then I have things like this made. And sometimes I only get enough fabric for one. And then take a fantastic necklace like this, that again is all hand done, full of life and color. Look at this, how this picks up. It's like a confetti look. And then I would switch the earrings instead of the flower earrings and I might end up going for this earring because it's picking up all the colors that are in the coat. This is a vintage pair. I always like to make sure I have them on right. Okay, there we go. And then you've got this great necklace. And here again, you can end up wearing it with that great purse where I just it all all this stuff just disappears here it is like this look at this i mean it's just out of a magazine and each one of them individually works so if you take off the coat and you feel like you just you know don't need it right at that moment you still got the great bag fabulous necklace fun earrings and then i want to show you these pair of earrings, these were done by an Israeli artist. I'm just crazy about these. Look at these earrings with the little yellow tea. You could wear this with any color again, pale, pale, any pale pastels really pops, but look at those fun earrings, just that alone. And I wanted to share with you that this artist did a portrait of me. 
And of all the poor, of all the things I could have been wearing, the day that I sat for this beautiful pastel by Linda Mina, who's a fantastic artist, she loved my earrings. So here I am wearing the same earrings. Didn't she do a great job? Look at this. So if you want to commission an artist and it's a great gift item, let me know. I've got the woman for you. But I thought with the fact that I'm wearing these earrings today, I had to show you. Just got this. I'm very pleased. Okay, so then we're going to go on to the next. And I want to show you another wonderful necklace that you can take on the yellow with white pants. This is all hand beaded. These accessories really make it. And again, I like these earrings with it because it's just got a little touch of all the colors. And it kind of works with the beaded theme. And there you go, you could be wearing that. What a great piece. And wear that with the white pants. Then, if you just need another little cover up, I've got this fabulous fish shawl for your shoulders. There's the eye of the fish, a signature piece of mine, and the tail. Hi, Michael. Glad that you're watching from Cheltenham. Hi, Harriet from New York. Thanks for liking the bag. Hi, Agnese from Los Angeles, one of my dearest friends for many, many years. Hi, Linda from Northern California. Great to have you. So I think this is a cool piece and you can again take the dot of the tail and put it through the eye of the fish and that just changes the look right there. And if you want, I'm going to show you another great item, take off this beaded necklace. And this is one of my shrugs. I have these in about 14 colors. It's permanently pleated fabric from Italy. Never ever loses its shape. And here I'm wearing it where the collar is high. You can wear this a couple different ways. And I love the navy yellow and white combination. And then I have this phenomenal pin that's made out of all hand beads, glass beads. It's a real true work of art museum piece with silicone in the center. It's a pin. And you could take the upper part of this shrug and go like this and wear a fantastic pin like this. Who's got brooches that look like that and have a little bit of the yellow peeping through with the white slack or a navy pant. But that's a great look. Hi, Mary Ellen from Nantucket. Love you. Love your photographs. Keep, keep it going. Hi, Mary Barber from Maplewood, New Jersey. Love having you. Send my love to Alan and Michael. Okay, and then you take this shrug and you turn it upside down when you don't want to have a collar. And it just changes the whole look. Just that alone. And the collar becomes the hem of the jacket. And that's a whole other thing. And then if you want to dress it up, you can end up taking this great mosaic bag. It has a gold chain. Wear that over your shoulder. I might go back to the yellow earrings just to pop this whole thing. Go back to the flower yellow earring. All these things intermix so that you can pack them all together. Here you go. So you've got on the great earrings and this yellow bag with this little touch of navy. I just think the combination really works well. And don't forget, you could be wearing the navy pants again. So you have that look. And then last but not least, and I'm going to take off my yellow top. I'm wearing all white. I'm going to throw this on. This is my silicone poncho. 
And here I'm just wearing all white, and this is just silver and navies. And in that case, I would go back to this earring because it has the silver and the navies. It goes with the ring. And I think this is terrific. Okay, so you can wear it like this. And it has these beautiful sleeves. All this is hand done with this gorgeous three-dimensional feeling of silicone. But sometimes people want to have a longer look. You just move it and you can wear it like this where it's nice and long, like a tunic length. It has this detailing on the shoulders and you can wear it like this. So I think today you've got a good taste of what it's like to take your navies, your yellows, your whites, and really mix and match and come up with a whole travel wardrobe that really sings. And I'm doing this every day at 3 o'clock on Facebook, and then I'm posting it on YouTube. So tell your friends to subscribe to Bonnie Roseman's Fashion Buzz. I am going to take everybody's comments. I must have at least 70 so far. I don't know. I haven't counted. But I have a number of them from starting May 1st. And I'll take them until the 31st. Anybody who's watching and has sent in a comment, just to say hello even, I'm putting in their names. And you will get chosen, hopefully, on the 31st of May. I'm giving a $200 gift certificate which there's many beautiful things that I have for that. And hi, Michael, my birthday twin. Love you. Great to see you here. Miss you. And so on these very challenging days that we've had to deal with, no matter where we are in the country, know that I love you. I appreciate you watching, showing your support, calling me and booking FaceTime appointments. It's how I'm keeping my business alive. And most important of all, feel good, but look even better. God bless. See you tomorrow.